welcome to N Point Tutorials. Uh, yesterday we start with linear programming and we did the graphical method to solve the linear programming question. Today we'll start with the same method, but this time our approach will be different. Uh, will be different. So let us see that what is this different approach. So this method is known as ISO profit or ISO cross. Now this is the same method but we have two different names. It is known as isotopic method when we have the case of maximization because in case of maximization we have to uh, bring a maximum profit so that uh, that our life would be easy. So for this we take the maximum uh, profit and isocost method is the case of minimization. So when we have to uh, give our expenditure in that case it has to be minimum. So that is why when a case is minimum, uh, when, it, uh, when a case is to find minimum uh, cost, then it is known as ISO cost method and when a case is to find maximization or we have to do maximization, then it is known as ISO profit method. Now we consider the same question that we did yesterday and we will see a different approach of solving that question. So the question was, so we have to maximize where our objective function was 3a plus 2b. So we have our objective function 3a plus 2b with a structural constraint as 1a plus 1b is less than equal to 4. 1a plus 1b is less than equal to 4 and 1a minus 1b is less than equal to 2 with a and b greater than equal to 3. So, all the three terms we have got, we have got an objective function, we have got a structural constraint and we have got a non-negative integrals. So, starting with a structural constraint, we will have to plot the graph of this question also. So, plotting the graph with x-axis and y-axis, where this carries point A and this carry point B. Okay. Now plotting this, so the first equation similarly uh, in the same way that we did that a plus b is equal to 4 for a is equal to 0 we get b is equal to 4 and similarly for b is equal to 0 we get a is equal to z, uh, 4. Second equation a minus b is equal to 2 similarly as a is equal to 0 we get the value of b is equal to minus 2 and for b is equal to 0 we get the a the value of a is equal to 2. So plotting this on this graph, so this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 1, and minus 2. We have got this point. So we'll plot. 0, 4 will be 1 point with this here and 4, 0 that will be on uh, x, uh, x axis and joining these two points we get the first equation. This method is similar that we did yesterday. If anyone has problem they can refer to my previous video. Now Second is a comma uh, zero comma minus two will be on this y axis and two comma zero will be here. So joining these two points, we get this another uh, line, which is the second line. Now considering the optimal uh, region, so these two both are greater than zero, so above this and right to this. Okay. Now considering a is equal to zero and b is equal to zero. So for first equation, zero plus zero is what zero. And this is less than or equal to 4, this region is correct. So the point containing this region will be an optimal region. So hence this region will be an optimal region. Considering the second equation, so this will be what 0 minus 0 will be 0. And this is what less than or equal to 2. So this condition is also correct. And therefore this point will be a uh, uh, so point containing this region will be our optimal region and therefore this will be our optimal region. So with all these four lines.
times are of the most reasonable basis. Now, how to solve this isotropic method? So, since here it is very much clear because we have did this yesterday. Now, how to solve this isotropic method? So, we'll start with the objective function again. But this time, we we'll assume some value for this objective function. Which value? The source function. So, for example, 3a plus 2b is our what? It is our objective function. Now let us consider that this is equal to 6, for example. So from here, when a is equal to 0, again, b ki value kit ni aage, 2, 3 is a 6. And when uh, b is equal to 0, we get a ki value is equal to 2. So again, we got the point will be this line and 2 comma 0 will be this line. And we get this line as our Objective function line. Is it clear? So, considering our objective function and equating it to some value, then we we'll get the point as a is equal to 0, we get b is equal to 3, and for a is equal to 2, we get b is equal to 0. So, this is what our objective function line. We will draw the same line that is parallel to this line at, at the origin. So, this is the line. Now, this line, when it is at the origin, it gives us the minimum value that we can have for our profit. And this profit, when it is at the origin, so the profit will be equal to, when it is at the origin, our profit is equal to 0. Now, we will move this line again um, away from the origin, parallel to this line only, and then at the corner point which covers full optimal region will be our optimal solution. How? Now, considering this line, now we will take this line to this corner point. Now, if we take now, if we take this line parallel to this point, is it covering the entire optimal region? No. Hence, this point can never be our optimal solution. Similarly, taking this line parallel, uh, parallel and taking it to 0, 3. So, while taking it, does it cover the entire optimal no, and hence it cannot be our optimal region. Now taking to this point, which was 3 comma 1. Now when we take this line to this region, we see, and parallel to this, we see that it covers our entire optimal region. See, this is parallel to this line, and it covers our entire optimal region. Hence, this point is our optimal, uh, uh, our optimal point, and with z 3 comma 1, when we substitute in the objective function, we get 3 into 3 plus 2 into 1, which is equal to 11 rupees, with e is equal to 3 and b e is equal to 1. So, this is known as isotropic method or isopause method, and it is similarly to the graphical method, only in this question we have to take a line which is uh, parallel to the objective function. And we have to move this line away for, from the origin in the case of maximization profit, uh, maximization question and towards the origin when our case is of minimization. So this is very easy method of solving and we can easily find an optimum solution with this, uh, with this method. Considering the next question and we will solve this question same by isotropic method. So the question is again, have to maximize what our objective function which is 6x minus 2y. 6x minus 2y. So this is our objective function as 6x minus 2y and we have to maximize this objective function. We have a structure constraint as uh, 2x minus 1. 2x minus y less than equal to x minus y less than equal to 2 and another structural constraint is x plus 0 y is less than equal to 3 and when x is and y is greater than equal to 0. So this is our next question in which we have our objective function as 6x minus 2y we have to maximize this objective function we have a structural constraint as 2x minus y less than equal to 2 and zero plus, uh, x plus 0y is less than equal to 3 and 
we have a non-negative constraint as x and y are greater than or equal to 0. So, how we will start this question? We will start with a structure, uh, structural constraint. We will consider it in the form of equation that is 2x minus y is equal to 2. For if x is equal to 0, our value of y will be equal to minus 2. And for y is equal to 0, our value of x will be equal to 1. Second equation will be for x, x plus, this is directly x is equal to 3 we can say. So plotting this on x and y axis, plotting this graph, we get this point as 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 1. Now, first set of points are what? These are 0, 0 comma minus 2. 0 comma minus 2 will lie somewhere here. And next point is what? 1 comma 0. It will lie here. Joining these two points, we get the first equation of line. Now, second is x is equal to 3. So, x is equal to 3 will be this line.
degeneracy or retardant. So what does degeneracy or retardant equation mean? So when any one of the structural constraints does not take part in your optimal feasible region, then it is known as the condition of degeneracy. For example, we have two equations like this. We have two structural constraints like this. And we have another constraint like this, which does not take part in your optimal. This is your optimal region, and this equation is known as redundant or degeneracy condition. So this is known as redundant equation, and the condition is known as degeneracy. So when any equation does not take part in your optimal region, then it is known as the condition of degeneracy. Now we come to unfortunate region, so you have an idea of this thing. So when any two equations give us an optimal region, and this is our optimal region. So if any two structural constraints are formed, and this is our optimal region, where we do not have any close boundary for our polygon, then it is the condition of what? unbonded region coming on to next is the infeasible region so what is the infeasible region so when we do not have any region in common then it comes to the case of infeasible region suppose one equation has an optimal region this side and another equation has an optimal region this side then in this case we do not have any common region and we cannot find any optimal solution for this type of question. So this is the case of what? Degeneracy. Oh, sorry, uh, this is the case of infeasible region. And last is the infinite solution. So, in solution. so when our objective function line or the isotropic line coincides with any one side of the polygon, that is an optimal region, then we say that it is the case of what? infinite number of solutions. For example, this is our optimal region and suppose our objective function line coincides with this line, then we say that we have all these points will be our solution for an optimal solution. So, these are the four cases that, uh, these are the special cases that we uh, see in our graphical content. So, this is the case of degeneracy or redundant, that is when any one of our uh, structural constraint does not take part for your optimal region, then we say it is the con uh, condition of degeneracy. Unfounded region, so when we does not get a close polygon for an optimal region, we say that it is an unbounded region. Then, infeasible region, so when both the constraints are opposite to one another and we do not get any common region, then we say it is an infeasible region and we do not get an optimal answer for this type of question. And last is infinite solution. So when an isocosmic line or isocos line coincides with any one side of the polygon of an optimal region, then this is the case of infinite number of solutions. And all those points will give us the same optimal solution. So here have ended our first uh, topic for linear programming that is graphical method. From the next class we will start with the simplex method to solve this type of linear programming.